All right. Personal message, Friday, the twenty-fifth. Um, I'm gonna leave it, leave that to whoever it is to figure out. If you want to figure it out, I'm just gonna say it's Friday. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna sing the song. Sorry. One, I'm not a teenager. I'm not a preteen. It's a good song. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Just want to say that I'm glad that I had gotten over that whole, you know, the friend over the week, weekend, totally am over her. I mean, I don't know why she did what she did. To me, it's just ridiculous. It's like, grow up, you know? It's like, if you really want the world to like you the way you are, just stop being such a bitch to people. Because I know I had to go through a lot of tough times. Um, I don't know what she went through, but what I do know is that I've got enough self-respect for myself to not try to steal someone else's boyfriend when I was single. When I was single, as soon as I found out that they weren't, cut. Right then and there. Okay, dude. Check you later. You know? See you later. Not a big deal to me. It's like... Alright, you got a girlfriend, good for you, you know, hope she knows that you're talking to another girl right now, and I hope she doesn't get, you know, jealous, because one, I'm not going to try to steal you away, you've got a girlfriend, you are happy with her? Yeah, figure that. Go your way, I'll do mine. It's like, I'm not desperate, but it's nice to know the facts, you know, who's single, who isn't, because, I mean, I know I'm not too many people's type. Because I'm the way I look, I mean, I've got these. Uh, two, three of my crushes actually wanted to, were laughing at, wanted to pop and sort of thing. Um, and they didn't like the fact that I had these. I mean, tell you the truth now, I think we were all young, immature. They probably are going out with girls that look like that or have that. Except for the one guy because he's a little bit more narcissistic and he's into uh, supermodel type of girls. Which means super, super skinny girls. Sorry, but I prefer having some meat on my bones. One, if I had to be skinny it would mean I would have to stay away from, mo from food entirely. And I ain't about to do that. Sorry. And these will never go away. Trust me on this. For someone like me, no. And as for the uh, whole, the, you know, the boyfriend stealing fake, well, attempt at boyfriend stealing fake. I don't know where she is. I don't know how she is doing them. Glad I don't know, and I don't need to know. She's deleted herself from Facebook. And two, I found myself in a better state of mind when it comes to friends. It's just that most of my closer friends that I used to spend time with, that I used to go out with, that I used to go and watch movies or go to play um, go in the dark miniature golf with or um, just that used to walk with me through haunted houses and that and one of my friends I thought I saw in a vine I was like cool <laughs> because she's so cute and she's so like like she's uh... it's so easy to make her smile <laughs> that's Maggie <laughs> and her, her last name is Lam so you can only guess who she is or where she's from. It doesn't matter. She's still like she's still <laughs> so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um most of my friends are out in college, university, they already have their jobs, married, kids. All to them. I'm glad. I'm happy to hear all that and see how they are and few of them 
the ones who um who I I have gotten in touch with through Facebook and finding out that they're not as different as they used to be. But one guy who I thought would never get a girlfriend because he was picky like I am. And he's got a girlfriend now. Happy for him. And she seems nice. And because she's a brunette. <laughs> I can only guess the kind of stuff they talk about. Or the f how many times she makes him laugh. But then again, it's not just Vanessa that do that. I know some redhead girls that make me laugh. I know some redhead guys that make me laugh. I know some blonde guys and blonde girls that are fun to be around with. Yes, blondes do have more fun. But certain blondes stay away from because they keep that to heart to the point where it's like all about drinking and, you know, getting with all types of, you know, hotties and... You know, all the people who are like top, top list, A list sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, last time I was at a party, I was like, yeah, he's good looking, but he's passed out. Yeah. Not the best place to be when you look that good. Why can't they be like movies where they're just jumping up and down, dancing, or being a DJ and. Having all these girls around them asking them, Oh, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? I can be your girlfriend. You know, that sort of thing. Um, the guys I've come across are either passed out, avoiding me, thinking I'd be interested, or they're already with their girlfriends. I stay away from that. I stay away from guys who are already taken. I'm like, oh, not a big deal when I was single. Um, now I just see that and I'm like, aww. <laughs> a couple. It's like, okay. And I'll just continue getting what I wanted to get, you know, whether if it's food or whatnot. Um, like, this one time, this guy was just walking down the sidewalk, and I was walking up the sidewalk, and where you know, coming toward each other. I was... <laughs> I don't know why. It's like he took one look at me and then he went <laughs> right into the depender right there. And I was like, that looks a little weird. Why? Why in... What in God's name came into your head when you saw me? Am I looking at you? Am I looking at anything? No, I'm looking down at my iPod, changing the song. This is just one of those things that just... I would rather... People will probably think I'm avoiding eye contact or don't want to look at that person. So I'm going to look down and pretend I'm changing songs when I actually am changing songs. Yeah. It's not an assumption. Trust me on this. It's not an assumption. And yes, that is actually my ringtone. And yes. I have seen The Godfather. I have yet to finish The Godfather Part 2. Um, and I do have Godfather Part 3. I bought the trilogy when we were in Shikurumi. A while ago. Cannot wait to finish it. And it says I have 20% off because I'm a... Mm, member. <laughs> I'm not going to say what cell phone service I'm with. I do have a good contract, though. I get to pay a certain amount whenever I use up, you know, enough of the time, enough of the usage and stored data and stuff like that. Just, you know, uh, messaging, calling, voicemail, um, including caller ID and all that. And it does come with, so it's like, it, if I had... This kind of stuff with another co contract would be, and with this phone, $45 a month. Everything else would be plus if I was using it at a certain rate. But because of how I use it, I never know when I'm going to use it more than how I'm expected to use it. 
So I've got this one contract that says once I get to like $120, $150, they'll let me know I have to pay it and at $175, they'll um, cut off my service until I pay that bill. Because I have a job, it's not a problem. It's just sometimes I get the bill at a certain time like, okay, I haven't gotten paid yet, so once I get paid, that's the first thing I'll do. Um, I also got to work on keeping an eye on that bill too, which is through an app I've got. It's not hard. Let's see. Um, also, it's cold here, which means that it's the leaves are turning, changing colors, getting closer to autumn. And autumn always means pumpkins, decorations, scarecrows, on, you know, small, you know, on, like, suburban type lawns. <laughs> Except for me, I prefer, you know, like, a crime scene on the driveway. <laughs> um... And a uh, scarecrow, you know, sitting, pretending that he's drinking a pop or a beer or something on the lawn or something. Just, <laughs> um, like, I would love to have a whole bunch of skeletons. That'd be so great. Like, you know, the fake ones, not people. That would be creepy. Like, no. I've already got some of my stuff for Halloween. I've gotten supplies. From last Halloween, which includes my fog machine. I can't wait. I can't wait to start decorating. I want to make a haunted house. I want to build a haunted house. I want it to be scary, spooky, you know? I want to make me have like noises like all around the house. Well, not around the house, but on the side of the house where the trick or treaters are coming in. This is coming from a girl who grew up with Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark. Read the books, have one book of Are You Afraid of the Dark. I love the stories. R.L. Stein, he, uh, he's got skill. He's got style. That's the fact that he almost never, well, actually, no, he's literally never ended a story in any of his books. It's cool. I kind of want to do the same thing with my stories. Still working on it, of course. I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to say too much. I just want to say this is my update for now. I'm trying to get this on YouTube so that it's okay. It can, you know, go on, uploaded, one of mine, because I do know that some people are watching these videos. And I do have some people who are subscribed to me. I want to keep people updated. That's all it is.